Hello everyone. I'm finally putting a video out there. After about two weeks. I don't know. Things has been going kind of slow for me here lately. Still on the good side as far as my um, health. I mean, I'm still dealing with seasonal allergies and hay fever and stuff like that, but at least it wasn't the sinus infection that I had about, uh, I guess you could say like three weeks ago now. I don't know. Either way, I'm happy to be back doing a video. Hopefully at this point I can be a little bit more regular with it. I hope everybody's having, you know, a wonderful time in this world because like I said, I don't know what time of the year you're going to be actually watching this video. But at the moment, my channel's kind of, it, it's small. It, it's not, you know, to the point where like everybody, well, maybe not everybody, but it's not to the point where I have like at least a thousand subscribers where there's like a lot of people watching. So I'm like a really, really small channel. So I don't know when you'll be watching this video. It could be now or it can be probably when the channel is a little bit more successful. On the upside, I may have not been posting videos, but I have been posting art. So if you have been following me on my KBO um, magazine page on my Facebook, or if you've been following my Instagram, Twitter, DeviantArt, or if you did decide to go, to go through the extra effort, put in the extra effort to follow my Patreon or um, what's it called, um, my WordPress, then you probably see a lot more of my comics. And then you know I've been posting coloring book pictures as well. So like whenever I can't draw a new comic strip or anything that's originally my art, I would just, you know, color some coloring book pictures just to show you my interest and just to keep the damn social media up to date, just to keep it going because, you know, if you don't keep doing something, it winds up being abandoned and... It starts to get in a state of decay. So instead of letting my shit die out, I gotta put something there, right? <laughs> I'm a bit tired. I just went downstairs to give the girls a snack. Or you can kind of say lunch now. As far as myself, I'm still in a state of fasting. I know I, I know I need to stop, but it's the only thing getting me through the day. And I'm at this point where I'm like, don't fix what ain't broken. Now don't get me wrong, I will force myself to eat something if I feel weak. But because I'm trying to rest more in the day and do more cleaning at night, I don't I don't think I'm gonna be feeling too weak and tired. Because I'm going to be basically sitting still for most of the time. And it probably would have helped if I would have slept a little longer. But, you know. Decisions, decisions. But, like I said, by no means am I trying to tell anybody to do what I'm doing. I'm suffering from mental illness. And the mental illness that I'm suffering from is anxiety and depression. So... This is how I've been dealing with it. Especially since I haven't really talked to my therapist in a while because I have to talk to my primary care so you can renew everything for her so I can start that back again. My whole life has been just a scramble of things that I have to do. It's like every time I think I, everything is just gonna go in a straight line or everything is just gonna start becoming a lot more consistent, something happens to just stop us in our tracks or specifically me since I'm here by myself with my girls all day so you know and yeah I have anxiety pills too but you know my the mind is still it's, it's something I gotta do the pills help they, 
they they reduce my anxiety. I'm not going I'm not going, you know, discredit anything. But sometimes it is just you. Pills help but work work with assistance makes things go right. So, you still have to do the things to reduce your anxiety, especially when you don't have help from a therapist or a family member or whoever is helping you regulate it, you know? And yes, the way that I'm helping myself right now is not really the best way, but I haven't really gotten over my fear yet. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, this, this is just how things are right now. Every time I do one of these videos, I'm gonna be giving you an update on how everything's going. So far, you see me say I'm fasting, then you hear me see me say I'm not fasting, and it's just been on and off, and on and off, and on and off, and you know it's just it's just how it is right now. Everything is in limbo, and my stress has been in limbo, you know, because on top of me dealing with the condition that has developed over the years, I also have to deal with normal activities as an adult. I have to take care of my daughters. I have to take care of myself. I have to be, you know, a good helpmate, a wife. I am somebody's wife. But, you know, it's just, you know, you gotta do normal things and you have to deal with your stresses and then you get to a point where, you know, everything's your responsibility. So it winds up taking your energy out and, you know, you still got to put the work in to make yourself able to do these things. And that's what I'm trying to do. See, if I was normal, I wouldn't be as tired because I wouldn't have mental illness being something that I had to manage, you know. And it is just mental illness because I do have food allergies. There's plenty of people that walk around here with food allergies that don't have anxiety. Also, another thing that's been consistent with my channel is y'all been knowing that I've been having sinus problems for the longest damn time. It's terrible. But yeah, I'm back because my baby wanted something else. But you know, and that's why these videos are going to keep being like I'm gonna be pausing. Once I actually learn how to edit, you won't tell that I'm pausing. You won't be able to tell that I'm pausing so much. It's a lot of things I gotta get to. I gotta get deep into my editing. And then on top of getting deep into my editing, I gotta make sure I, you know, take my time and perfect how I draw my characters. Cause you know, right now they're not really detailed. And I guess they don't have to be, but I definitely need to make them look a lot neater. So I'm in the process of doing it now. Everything is a work in progress with me. It's just, you know. You'll be able to tell how I'm doing based off of how the quality of art is looking. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't even know, man. I. I'm just ready for things to start going smooth in my life and just being able to just know that thing, that certain things are going to happen and not have to have a second thought. At the moment, I'm waiting for my daughter's tablets to charge so that I can finish putting games on one of their tablets and so I can just wait for the other one to charge. The other one's fully set. Have you ever been trying to, you know, set things up for your kids and then it's like one electronic device gives you the most problems? Because apparently Leah's tablet has a storage problem and I don't know how because the only thing I do is put the same amount of games on her tablet as I do every single month. Because I change their tablet every month. Change change their tablet games every month. And you know, so they don't get bored. And I also turn the internet off because I don't want them accidentally buying stuff. 
because the stuff on their tablet is connected to my card and I need to make sure that our internet is paid. And, um, you know, also so they don't find weird stuff because I give my daughter the remote control to the TV each evening. She always stays on YouTube and she just finds a whole bunch of stuff. Some of that stuff I gotta delete because it's too weird. And, you know, for the most part, she likes seeing things with numbers. I'm talking about a four-year-old. My four-year-old gets a remote every evening. And she basically looks up a lot of things with numbers on it. She's obsessed with numbers. And I still wonder what type of career she's going to wind up getting in the future because you can do a lot with numbers. It's funny because at the same age my eldest child is now, I was drawing at four. My drawings didn't really look that nice at four. <laughs> and I've always been right-handed. I'm trying to do some drawings with my left hand just to get some use out of me. My husband's gone for like 12 hours a day. That's enough time to try to become omnidextrous, right? <laughs> so I'm trying to do some art with my left hand. And I might actually state it. Like if I do any random art on my own, I might state if I did it with my left hand. I mean, you can just assume anything that I post if I don't state that I did it with my left hand, that I did it with my right hand. Pretty much everything that I do, including coloring, is with my right hand. I still have to practice with this one. Now my youngest daughter, which is the daughter that y'all see in the videos most of the time, I still see her reacting to music a lot more than anything else. And we can do a lot with music. There's plenty of there's plenty of things that you can do with music. Commercials, being a singer, composing music, um, you can conduct an orchestra. There's plenty of things you can do with music. She also likes words, so maybe she could be a writer, because I'm seeing her reacting to ABC a lot, but then again, she has the same reaction to the numbers as well, so I don't know, but as long as there's a beat to it, she'll be interested. But yeah, I'm still open for art commissions, so if you want to have me draw something for you, if you're willing to buy some art from me, you know. Just email me and we can talk about pricing. Like I said, I'll accept half from the jump. And like I said, you can pay the rest if you like it and want to keep the artwork. I can mail it to you. But if you want it mailed and stuff, then that's something we can discuss in the email. I mean, for all I know, you might want me to just draw something, make it digital, and put it online. You could want a logo. I can make you a logo. I mean, it's, it's going to be a, a bit of a learning curve for me because, you know, some people like moving logos. And I can make you a logo that's like still. And most things take like JPEG or PNG or that other variation of JPEG. And I don't know how to do the other ones. I think you got to work in like Adobe for the other ones. But, you know, I'm broke, so I can't pay for Adobe right now. <laughs> I want to do more like reactions to things. I'm still debating on whether I'm going to finish Soul Man on YouTube or whether I'm going to finish Soul Man on Patreon because it's like I don't want no copyright, but. It's gonna be like, there's not gonna be any continuity with it. So it's like, should I just finish it on YouTube for continuity? I should just say, bump all that shit. I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna finish it on Vimeo or Patreon or something. I don't know. I'm still debating on it. Until then, I'll be working on some art. Oh yeah, there is a Splatoon Splatfest coming up on this weekend. If I film it, this will be the first weekend I film myself playing a 
a game, and I hope it works out well because in the house is gonna be busy because the kids gonna be running all over the place, and my husband's probably gonna want the video game. So there's that. <laughs> I got like two more hours before my husband is off work and I feel like this day has taken a lot of my energy. Like I'm just, I'm tired, I'm worn out and I'm just done with everything. And I'm just stressed because I just wanted my daughter's tablet to work right so that I can let them have fun because they're kids. And eventually all this fun is going to turn to them having to do some type of school work. I'm just trying to have everything be as pleasurable as possible before, you know, they have to do work for real. I don't know, man. So far, everything is getting better, I guess. But things are still inconsistent in my life. I don't really have anything interesting to talk about because, you know, like, I don't know, there's nothing that has really piqued my interest enough to the point where I'm like, oh my god, I have to talk about this. You know? But I guess it doesn't hurt to, like, talk about yourself a little bit, you know? Because talking about other people, that requires a lot of research. You gotta be accurate at least 98% of the time. And I don't know. I feel like I can get somebody's interest and keep their interest with my art more than with my words. Because I might talk a lot, but I actually suck at talking. <laughs> if that makes any sense. As far as reading is concerned, I've been barely getting that into the day. I have not read anything since last week. <laughs> that is crazy. And I've been trying to go to Barnes & Noble so much. Every time we go out, I'm like, let's go to Barnes & Noble. Let's go to Barnes & Noble. Let's go to Barnes & Noble. Let me go to Barnes & Noble. And I'm back here, you know, not reading anything. By the way... In the early part of August was my husband's birthday. We finally went into the Barnes and Noble. I went into the manga section. Also, this is a time we were trying the baby leashes. Don't roast me, I know. The reason why I have the baby leashes is because I know I can space out and I need that something pulling on my wrist to let me know, hey bitch, Get your conscience back in front of you, okay? <laughs> I've always had a problem where I like, you know, I like lose track of my thought. And I think that's, that coincides with my focus problem. I continue to call it undiagnosed ADD. But the only reason I've been doing that is because my therapist suspects that I have ADD, but I haven't gone through the test yet. Still, like I said, everything's behind in a lot of things, okay? There's a lot of stuff that I'm catching you up on, too, because I haven't posted in a while. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> this is us trying out the baby leashes. Hold up. I did not see what fell. I mean, it sounded like something fell. It sounded like a damn spoon. Because my four-year-old has a habit of reaching into the kitchen over the baby gate. So I thought she grabbed the spoon and it fell on the floor or something. But I, I, I didn't see anything. So I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe she banged on the shelf downstairs. Because I think that would create the same sound as a... Same with still spoon falling, but you know. Cause everything was the same. It was like blocks. Cause she loves playing with blocks. Lily was in front of the TV and other toys were scattered everywhere. So everything looked normal. 
So they're fine. <laughs> I'm so glad nobody unlocked the door. I was about to say, what the hell? Maybe this won't be the first time. That's why we got that little latch thing on there to keep them from actually going outside. I'm gonna finish telling you this and I'm gonna wrap this up because it looks like my supervision is needed a little bit more than what I thought it was. Because I thought Gracie's corner was gonna like hold their attention, but when they wanna do stuff, they wanna do stuff. It don't matter what show is on. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. We were we were going to the store, we had the babies on the baby shoots. And this is when we had the car for a short second because my husband finally got the car and everything was good. Now we're waiting for it to be repaired because it randomly, it was randomly having problems. You know, when you buy a brand new car, you don't think it's going to have problems, but you know. I mean, no, it's not brand new cars. So you, it's brand new to us because we've been busing. We have been going on the bus for the longest time. She was banging on the metal shelf with the wooden block. And that's what that was. Either that or Leah was banging on the deck on TV table, which is made out of glass and wood. But it sounded more metal than glass. I don't, I don't know. I guess I'm going to wrap this up and then I'm going. I mean, I'm going to be checking, obviously. I'm not going to be like, we're going to ignore them, but you know. They didn't want too much. But I'm going to finish up the story. This is, he had the car. Car's in the shop. It's a used car, but it's brand new to us because we've been on the bus all this time. So I went to the manga section after trying to catch my two-year-old daughter who wants to run all over the place because she's not in a stroller for once. Cause I, I mean, they have to learn how to walk beside you at some point, right? They're not gonna be in a stroller at my age, so they gotta freaking learn. But anyway, after chasing her around with a leash, I finally think, okay, yeah, I finally got two mangas. I'm gonna get these two mangas. I'm gonna get the toys for them. And we gonna go. We, I think, get at a stoplight or something. Cause I remember we had to stop for a short period of time. Like it wasn't like a straight way out. So while we were at the stoplight or whatever, after people honking at us, cause you know, my husband's trying to get used to driving. So he's not speeding down the road like everybody else is. So I look in my, I look in my, um. Look at my bag, get what I think is a manga and a manua. And they're two chapter books. Okay, I'll give the manua a pass because it was still in the area where the um, chapter books were. So if that was gonna be a chapter book regardless. Okay, I got you. But then I got what I thought was a Japanese manga. That was a freaking chapter book too. I'm like, I went in here buying books, thinking that I was gonna look at the pictures and they gave me nothing but words. I'm mad. I, I am, <laughs> I am upset. <laughs> I'm gonna show you something. This is a manga that I've owned for years. See how there's pictures in here? This is what I was expecting from both of these books. This is what I thought was a manual, okay? Because I researched this online. The book tried to run away from me. <laughs> um, I researched this online thinking that I was going to see something that looked just like what I showed you from this. Words. But this is outside of the manga section, so it gets a pass. This is what fooled me the most. Cause I was like, oh my God, well, this is actually Japanese manga. 
Let me just go ahead on these words. I could blame it on the fact that, hey, I was trying to catch my daughter because she was running all over the stove. Yeah, she was still attached to the baby leaves, but she was still running all over the stove. And you can say, oh, but you weren't paying attention. But I didn't think I would have to pay attention. If I pick up a manga, I should get this. <laughs> but I thought I picked up a manga, I wound up getting nothing but words. Words, baby. I'm feeling I have to do some work. <laughs> I mean, I still, I'm still going to read the books. I'm still going to read them in order. Apparently, I got this out of order. This is actually volume two. So I have to listen to volume one online and then get to finally reading this. Yay. <laughs> okay, maybe getting volume two instead of volume one was definitely me trying to catch my kid more than paying attention to the books. So I just desperately grabbed what I could. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you have little kids. You can't, like, take your time and just, like, ooh, I got something real nice. I also saw the other books that were similar to Shiver. I still have not been a Shiver. I'm too par I'm too paranoid and petrified to go back. I don't know if I will ever finish that book. So I can't collect it. If I can't finish that, I can't imagine what's in the other ones. But yeah, you know, it was fun. My husband, he had fun as well. We actually got into a restaurant that day instead of that time when we were going on our anniversary and we didn't get to do shit. <laughs> But hey, that's how it goes. All right, I'm gonna end the video here. I'll let you know if I if I finish the book any if I finish these books any kind of fast. I'll let you know what I think of them. I think I might start a series where I actually review a book based off of my memory because I can't cheat, right? <laughs> but anyway, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye for now.